For many years, Linfield alumni have proudly extolled the streak that is the 57 consecutive winning seasons by our football team. Alumni have been less conscious of another streak that is almost as remarkable. For the last 39 years, we have, ex we have ended the year with a balanced budget, a real balanced budget. We also made progress in year one of our strategic plan. About three months ago, trustee Kerry Carmody told the rest of Linfield's board that our strategic plan is perhaps the best he's ever seen. Not because it is smarter or better written, though I suppose that could be true, <laughs> but rather because it is actually being implemented. It isn't just gathering dust on a shelf. We're using that plan to improve our college, and as we said in our plan, to improve the learning experience of our students. In its article entitled, Best Bang for the Buck, Liberal Arts Colleges, Washington Monthly pointed out that although Linfield enrolls a higher than average number of Pell Grant recipients and at-risk students, we have a very high graduation rate and a very low loan default rate. In fact, using those specific measures and outcomes, Linfield ranked 51st of 1,572 institutions nationally. This is a tremendous credit to the culture of Linfield, to the work of our students and staff, and especially to the dedication of our faculty. I strongly believe that the human and educational value of a residential liberal arts college is better than any other form of undergraduate education. I know that's true. I know that if we fulfill the goals of our strategic plan, we will be even better than we are now but we have to become more effective in communicating the value and values of the liberal arts. And we must work together to find new ways to bring resources to the college, to provide the funds necessary to make our college affordable, and to prepare our students to enter a lifetime of learning. In the near term then, the state of the college is very good. We are making progress in attaining the goals of our strategic plan, we are managing our resources responsibly. We are becoming better as teachers and scholars, and we are educating our students very well. We need to become better at retaining students after the freshman year. We need to continue recruiting a diverse student population. And we need to address issues of compensation, faculty load, curriculum, January term, and the many other issues I've outlined. 